Hello, Michaelis. Thank you so much for including your work. Let's go ahead and jump right over to your composition. So we've got the iPad Pro, which is a really a great choice. Uh, let me see. I just want to reduce the size here a little bit. Okay, so in the composition itself, right now, I, I, I see a really super straightforward, and, and please don't let this sound discouraging. I don't mean this to sound discouraging at all. But I see a really kind of a pedestrian start here. It's it's not very visually engaging. And there's a few reasons for that. And we're going to talk about those reasons. But before we do, let's take a look at the requirements to make sure we're meeting all the requirements. So the object, the main object, which is your iPad Pro, must be dominant. This isn't a dominant image. It's trying to be. But right now, you're getting competition here, right? These images are big enough and they're colorful enough that they're giving this um, a run for the money in, in the dominant. So you want to make if you if, if you want to make something dominant, make sure it's dominant. Be a little bit more aggressive here. I mean, you really want to make sure that's a dominant image, right? Um, right now, the the iPad is kind of forced off the page, and and this color bar right here, and the fact that this perspective is kind of pointing down like this, this is almost leading the viewer off the page. So typically, you want to point things into the composition not out of the composition okay so i'm not real sure if you can find a different image for a, an ipad but right now I, I see that as just being a little bit problematic in this it doesn't have a nice uh, consistent um, harmony with the composition itself in that it, it's almost pointing off the page uh, the reason oh let's go back to the the um, requirements um you must show an image which is the result of using the object. So maybe you could show a piece of artwork that, that, we, that you, you created or something that we need the result of using the object. You gotta, you've got to show two components. Right now you're showing a screen protector. Is that a component for the piece or is that, I'm not real sure if that's a component. I, I would show like maybe the pen and something else. Um, okay, the Apple Pencil. Yeah, okay, all right, that's cool. You've got, oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, so that's the pencil. Okay, so that's one component. Maybe you can show another component. I don't know, maybe the camera or something. Um, but we need two components, and then this could actually be the result of using the object. So we need another component in there. Um, headline, design in everyday life. Again, this is pointing off the composition, right? So it, it typically you want things, so you want that baseline to point into the composition, right? So this is a tough play right here because it's right almost in the center of the composition. So which way to have the baseline oriented it is really a tough call. Um, I think that once you resize the main object, it's going to create some different need here. So, so just think about that. Um, I'm going to show you an example of a really fantastic typographic titled composition in one second. White background only, asymmetrical, 7 by 15. Design must be combined, uh, cropped, and uh, in, in a background. So you've got that. That's fantastic. So, okay, everything else is in place. So right now, the main thing I'm seeing is this. is that We've got the, the iPad, right? But we, we're not using the iPad itself to assist us in presenting other images. We're just saying, okay, here's an image. I'm going to put it in a square. Okay, here's an image I'm going to put it in a square. Okay, so there's no, we're not finding any clues here. Right now, I would say the only clue we have right now in this particular image, there's two things. It's it, Actually, there's only one thing. If this was a straight-on shot of an iPad, you could show the, the shape of the screen as being, being the shape of the frames for the images. But right now, the only thing we have is the circle. So what I would do right now is I would borrow that circle, and I would use these as circular images just to draw a connection between some of the other imagery and the main image itself. Okay. Now, uh, the shape of your uh um, type here again you got the shape of an iPad screen if you're showing the shape of the screen maybe shape your your body copy the same shape as the screen you see what I'm saying I'm not saying rounded corners but basically the same size as an iPad screen as long as we could see that full screen in another image I don't recommend this image right here it's it's just a logo it's really colorful it's got a big black background and it's too visually weighty I mean, it's right now it's drawing all sorts of attention because it's big and it's dark. Um, plus, it's 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 just a logo. It's not a component. It's I wouldn't use that. I definitely would not use that image. Um, okay, so as far as as let me show you that typographic composition. I just want you to keep working. All right, keep working. What I want you to do at this point is go through all three course lectures. There's three presentations this week, and there's four 
announcements and each announcement has videos in it so I want, I want you to spend some time I want you to go through each of those and when I say go through them I mean go through them twice three times maybe even four times till each one really locks in then start this again with a fresh approach all right I promise you once you start looking at those those resources you're going to get some ideas this is a great presentation right here presentation three um, this video shows you exactly and this whole lecture here shows you exactly what to look for in images that and that they can help you in in your 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 compositions okay uh typographic title i wanted to show you right here isn't that beautiful that's beautiful so you can see this is just really really kind of pedestrian and again i don't use that as a derogatory term but it's really super mm, regular it's just regular this is fantastic and that's what we want we want our compositions to be fantastic okay so Michaela that's where I'm at right now and that's where I would like you to start concentrating your efforts for um, I just did I call you Michaela I'm sorry so sorry I've got another a student in my other class and her name is Michaela and I believe it or not just got done with a video for her so I apologize Michaela's um, at any rate so that's where we need to be so you, you let's just keep working keep working this look at those videos look at those lectures let this stuff settle in man once it becomes muscle memory you'll come in here with a whole fresh approach as in terms of typography a nice drop cap would be beautiful in here um, let's get a more solid relationship between the headline and the type and watch those rags got to adjust those rags horribly horribly uneven rags that's covered in the video how to adjust rags but right there in your course resources. Okay, Michaela, that's where I'd like to see you take your work for Sunday. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thank you very much.